Did you know you could save a ton of money doing your own computer repairs from home? It's not as hard as it seems. So in this video, I'm gonna show you a quick and easy way to replace a battery in a Dell Inspiron notebook. So this is the Dell Inspiron 7591 laptop. So it has already been diagnosed with a potential bad battery per the online diagnostics and a short conversation with the Dell online tech. So a couple of things I wanna go through real quick is if you don't have one of these, the iFixit is an awesome kit uh, for technicians or even just to have around the house if you're not technical. This laptop is not hard to work on. You'll find out as we go through it, there's a series of, of screws, but for most novice users, this should be a fairly straightforward event. Now I will note that as we're pulling the cover off and using some of the tools from the iFixit kit here, you will hear some popping sounds uh, around the case, but that is normal. So we will not um, be like, you know, oh no, we broke something. So these are, like I said, very good to, to work with. So first off, we're gonna make sure the device is powered off completely. So on the Inspiron models, hitting the power button once only sends it into standby mode. It does not turn the actual device off. So we are gonna hold the button down for a period of time, about three seconds. And we're gonna get a menu here that says slide, you know, slide this down to shut your PC off. We're gonna use the pad here and drag that down. And then you're gonna see that it is shutting down permanently. So the power is completely off. Uh, there's nothing connected to the power. There's no uh, USB ports connected, nothing like that. So we should be good to go for the next steps. All right, one other item that I invested in, which was only, I think maybe $10 uh, plus some credits I already had with Amazon, was this uh, static mat. Uh, it's really nice to use for anything it, that you're doing technically. Um, so it's got some magnetic pouches here to put my screws in, uh, some additional deep layered uh, pockets as well, and a series of little notches and uh, little holder areas over there. All right, so once the device is powered off, we are going to take the screws out. Um, I have already removed the first set of screws uh, from the main area here. Now, on the Inspiron, uh, when you get your part, uh, which is the Dell 56-watt uh, battery, it will come in with instructions. Those instructions do state to remove the five uh, screws up here first and loosen the base screws here on the bottom. Uh, with those removed, again, uh, the iFixit tool is fantastic for this. It's got a little, little kind of a holder here where it kind of rotates. So if I'm you know, removing screws, I can hold that in place while I twist or, or uh, rotate left or right the screwdriver itself. Once the screws are removed and loosened, we are going to begin removing the case itself. Now this is where I mentioned earlier, we're gonna hear some popping sounds. There is a method to this you wanna be cautious of, which is also in the uh, outlined in the instructions that come with the battery. So the kit comes also with a little plastic uh, case separator. There are several of these uh, if you're working on iPhones, laptops, screens, uh, and so forth. These are very, very helpful uh, to work in these kind of conditions. So. I'm going to start in the center. There's some popping. All right, we're going to continue to work along this side here. It will take a little bit of pressure to get those off. Okay. All right, so like I mentioned, it is gonna take a little bit of extra um, prying to get these off. But again, please make sure you use a, uh, a tool like this that is plastic. If you use something metal, uh, do not use a kitchen knife, pair of scissors, because you will bust up the, the bezel on the frame. So um, once we have those off, I'm gonna remove the case. There's the inside. All right, so this is the replacement. This is the one battery here that we're saying, or we diagnosed as bad. So again, I'm using 
uh, my screwdriver with a very fine uh, Phillips end on this. Now, if you notice, there's uh, several small screws and I'm gonna keep these in a separate area. I'm not gonna put them with the bezel or the case screws. I'm gonna keep these separate. There are some times where screws will vary depending on their purposes in the chassis or in on the motherboard. So there may be a different threading, there may be a different size, uh, a different length. So we are going to make sure we keep those absolutely separate. Um, I've done this before where I've put the wrong screw back in uh, a different hole and ended up stripping the screw socket and therefore had to come up with a creative method <laughs> to fix that. So we don't want to do that. Also, uh, what I like about the kit, you got a handy dandy magnet. So if you are in an area where, you know, uh, you're trying to get something out, these are also magnetized. So kind of gets those out of those tight corner spots right there. All right, we got one more on this side. All right, let's see. It looks like we have everything out. All right, I'm gonna set that aside so I can uh, find my socket right here. Uh, this again, be very careful removing these. It should not take a lot of pressure. Again, you can use a prying tool uh, because there is a, an edge right here that if you notice, you can get in there and push that out just like that. So there is the old defunct broken battery. We're gonna set that aside. All right, so we are ready now to insert the new battery that we received from Dell. We are going to line this up best we can, but it's good to put the connector on first because it's gonna kinda give you some extra space to work with the screws. All right, make sure that's seated properly. Uh, worst thing you can do is not get that in correctly or get it in crooked. And then you get the thing together and over time it unseats itself and then you have another problem all over again. If you notice here, the way it was inserted the first time, we're gonna have to just do some slight careful cable management on this. Uh, we were not the original manufacturers, so therefore we have to do a little bit of manipulation here to get those in correctly. Again, I'm telling you the things that I experienced, I failed on it once, so you don't have to go through the same thing. And that's why I have this channel so I can show you the right way and not the wrong way, which, you know, if you can get it right the first time by watching something, then that's great. It's less time, less money that you can be saving to do other really cool things with. Just make sure they are all nice and tight, not over tightening. You don't want to ever over tighten these because that will definitely crack something. We don't want to do that. All right, the final hardware step, we are ready to put the case back together. So we're gonna start with the back end of the case first. Kind of the last thing we took off is the first thing going back on. So we wanna make sure everything lines up the way it should. Make sure that bezel is correctly in place, everything. Now earlier I mentioned that these are, um, these do not get removed and it's a good point because they are unremovable. They're meant to stay in the sockets. So I'm gonna keep these somewhat loose because I want a little bit of play in the case to make sure everything lines up. And then we are gonna work it from the edges. Again, snapping those in place. No harm being done there. Nice snapping sound, nice clean edge all the way around. So let's check this out. We're gonna go back, pull our screws out of our little case here. Again, I'm not gonna tighten these all the way up. I'm gonna wait until they're all in place. So while we're finishing this up, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this worked for you. I hope it saved you some money. If it does, please like and uh, subscribe, forward this on to someone that may have use for this. And again, this tool, I love it because you can do so many things one-handed. And we are ready to bring this back online and make sure we have a good, healthy battery. All right, everything's back together, new batteries in place. We are gonna power up. Looks like we are good to go. All right, so again, very simple process using 
the right tools, the manual, the parts from Dell. Uh, I do highly recommend that you use Dell replacement parts. Yes, you can get third-party knockoffs, uh, but if you wanna keep things optimized and within warranty, I highly suggest uh, using the um, Dell series of devices. So that's it for our laptop battery replacement. I hope you found this uh, very helpful. And for more tips and tricks and making technology simple on your tech skill coach, I'm your host, Steve Warner. Thanks and have a great, great day.